Africa is urbanizing at a rapid rate. With this comes a myriad of development challenges and opportunities. The Biennial Local Climate Solutions for Africa Congress Series provides a unique and accessible platform for local governments, scientists, businesses, and NGOs to drive action towards climate resilience in Africa. The latest Congress took place in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania from the 30th of October to the 1st of November in 2013. The Congress is indeed timely and it holds a lot of significance for Dar es Salaam, the largest city and the economic powerhouse of Tanzania. I hope that in this workshop we shall have networking with our colleagues, we shall also have some solutions that will reflect the clear future for the African city. Half of the world's population lives in our urban metropolises and if they don't begin to transform their urban areas, what they build, where they build it, if it's sprawled or if it's concentrated, how they move around, the transportation facilities, if that doesn't change, then we can't get to a low carbon society. And if a nation wants to get there, they have to get there by working with their local governments to make that possible. In 2013, I joined a very exciting web-based learning course run by ELLA on, on, on climate change and climate res resilience. It's an organization focusing on how we might share lessons so that we might catalyze practical action and thought that it would be an amazing opportunity if I could also come to the ICLI Congress here in Dar es Salaam to look at what I could learn from what is happening across Africa and how we might then share those lessons. Two particular things that I would like to take home. Uh, firstly is the issue of mainstreaming uh, climate change uh, solutions into the master plan. If I use the example of uh, public uh, transport challenges in Nairobi and the congestions that many times during peak hours we go through, then it is an area that uh, the public would appreciate and they can also demand issues of non-motorized transport so that we lessen the carbon emissions to the atmosphere. Climate change affects us all, but it does not affect us all equally. Those who are least able to cope are being hit hardest. Those who have done the least to cause the problem bear the gravest consequences. The impact of climate change may worsen the capacity of city in providing basic social services to the urban inhabitants, including water supply, energy supplies, and health. I'd also like to look at some of the strategies that have been developed and how we might adapt them to our own municipality because we're also struggling with building a low-carbon economy. I would like to thank ICLE. I also want to thank UCLG and members of local governments because at the end of the day, we may have very good policies, but if we're not able to put it in practice, then it will be a story that doesn't leave lasting impacts. I've learned a lot. It's been one big learning curve. And what I learned is that the local municipalities should actually become the drivers and the champions. For me, what is also important, public participation with community-based organization, and this involves communication in the language of the people, revisiting the development plan to make space and allowance for, for climate change issues. When we met recently in Nantes, in France, we launched the Nantes Declaration, which committed us to a roadmap between now and December of 2015, when the United Nations Framework Convention will meet again in Paris to try and thrash out a global agreement on reducing emissions. Your challenge in the 21st century is to make your cities part of the solution. Figure out what sustainability means for your cities and how to get there.